Welcome back, everybody, to the Two Idiots franchise with the Chicago Cubs. We are 9-1 in in our last 10 on a verified streak. We are hot as ever, finally. And 34 and 22, we're above 500 baseball for the first time in what feels like forever. Hot on the heels of the Brewers and the Reds. But first, we've got to get through the basement. We're coming up from the bottom. Facing St. Louis, we've won the last two out of three against them and a chance to seal the series and continue our winning ways. And it will be Grayson Rodriguez, who has also seen some retribution lately in his play. He picked up his second win of the year on his last outing, so he's been doing pretty good. Hey, he's got two wins in a row. Yeah. It took forever, but now he's got a bunch, or a couple of them, Yeah, and we're hoping a, they come in bunches. That's not a bunch yet, but we're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's let's uh, let's give uh, uh, old Herman a uh, a rough day. Let's uh, let's get this done. Oh man, right wow. off the bat, tie game. Oh, and they they scored two already yeah. in the top of the ninth. All right, let's see if we can get out of this. Game four is proving to be as tense as ever. Seven to seven in the top of the ninth, and Almonte is tasked with getting us out of this one now. Runners on the corners with only one out. Almonte's in trouble. Doesn't get the call there, so he's behind quickly, two and zero. Oh. I was right on the line. Oh, Ooh, that was close as well. Three and zero oh, in danger of loading him up. Swing and a miss. Spooled him on that one. Come on, Yensi. Gets contact there to foul it off, and the count is full now. Almonte delivers. Up in the zone, but it's fouled off. This is pent. <laughs> yep. Oh. Doesn't go around there, and the bases are juiced now. Loaded with only one out, and J.P. Crawford at the plates. Yeah, we'll three on the day, so let's make a multiple pool. The double play here. His character model kind of looks from a distance like Jonathan India. Yeah, a little Not bit. Not up close here. Not up no, close. No, but in the distance, yeah. That. Yep. A little <laughs> bit. Monty's behind already, 1-0. Swing and a miss. Chopped that circle change inside for the first strike. That's a good pitch, but it goes oh. to center field. Crawford drives the lead run in, and they don't push it, so the bases are still loaded. St. Louis with the lead. And now Wilson Contreras batting in the nine spot. I wonder if he still has nightmares about GP. JT Martinez. Sorry, JD <laughs> Martinez. <laughs> Who, Almonte? No, Contreras. Or Contreras. Yeah. Just JD broke his arm. Oh! The get, left it, field get it, get it, get it, back. get it! No, no! Oh, it's out of here! A grand slam by oh. Contreras! Oh, no. And St. Louis says they're not getting swept. Oh, no. Wow. Genesis Cabrera comes in now with a sub-1 ERA over 37 innings pitched. He's been fantastic. I would have rather have seen him in this position from the get-go. But Almonte gives up the slam, and we've got to start over on ending this inning now. Yeah, we need to, we need to get two quick outs to get out of this, and then we need our bats to really be on fire. Yeah, it's going to take nothing short of a miracle for us to at least tie it with five runs in the bottom of the ninth. Yeah. Although, that's exactly what they just did to pull ahead, so it's possible. That's right. That's a ball. Evens up at two and two for Cabrera and Bellinger now. Count is full. Almost punched him out there, but it wasn't quite inside enough, and it's full. Tommy, M Tommy Edmond on deck. Cabrera misses. Bellinger's on. We're fully off the rails here in the top oh, of the ninth man. now. You just got double play ball here. 
That's what he did. He locked him to get a double play. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly what's going on here. Totally intentional. Yeah. That's what I would have done. But no. <laughs> <laughs> the 0-1 to Edmund. Missing. Diamondbacks are beating the Pirates. That's good for us. Big swing and a miss on that curveball. He pulled that one back on him. And it's one and two. Brewers are beating Brewers up on the Royals, are, yeah. Yeah, yeah, shit. One and two. And that's going to center field and brought in for out number two. Line drive, sharply hit. Nice catch. And Lars Newt Bar at the plate now. The candy man himself. He's a Newt Bar. Three for five on the day. Good old nut bar. Yeah. That's right, random fan. Let's go, Cubbies. Let's go, Orphans. Let's go. <laughs> and Cabrera remains ahead 0-2. Come on, check this bitch out right here. Nope, throw it in the dirt. Oh. Okay. Doesn't chance to run the second there, so it's still 1-2. and two. Runner on first. Oh, the throw over. Didn't forget about you, Belly. One and two again from Cabrera. Got him on a circle change. Somewhat of a questionable call, says Newt Barr. But that's out number three regardless. Zach Thompson's going to step onto the mound now for St. Louis. Not even their closer. They're very confident with that five-run lead. Yeah, they're not, they're not scared at all. I think we would be too, probably. Yeah. We probably we probably leave Killian in for the fifth inning at this point. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Eighty-seven oh, <my>. pitches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One, two, three up though now oh, to start the bottom up. of the ninth, and Caballero steps in, averaging under two hundred against lefties. And uh, did he go? He's leading off, and he's got a hit today at least. Yeah. That's something. Big swing and a miss. What zip code are you in right now, sir? Do you know what day of the week it is? And Caballero will lift that one up to shallow center field for the first out. So that's weak contact. That seemed like a high pop-up. Yeah. Get your hot dogs here. Instead, we'll get a pop-up to left field now. Check Sally in the stands? <laughs> 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 Kurt, is that you? Wow. Oh, we go. Oh, Soto, oh, there we go. Wow, Soto with a double. Some life with two outs. That was 106 off of the bat. And Soto gets a two out double. And will dab to left field. And throw the dice. And now it's time for Josh Young. Wow, that curve took forever to get there. Josh aged a whole year. <laughs> that thing was running on dial-up speed. <laughs> <laughs> so, chance to make it interesting. Oh! Young blasts that one to left field. He does it again. Josh Young, 426 feet. Now they're bringing and in now closer. they're bringing in the closer. We're gonna see Helsley. Wow, Josh Young making his presence known. He says, "Remember the name, St. Louis." <laughs> All right. And now Walker with two outs. How much more exciting can we make this? Well, we could score four more runs. <laughs> A comeback for the ages. That would really be something. Down by three, and we've still got a chance despite two outs. You just never know with baseball. That's very true. I think they got all five of their runs in the ninth with one out, right? 
That's inside. Yeah, because when the Ennis is doing it to get two out, so. Wow. So Walker's ahead two and one. Two. Oh man, that should have been over the fence. Oh, that was just that was a gift. Yeah, instead it's two and two. Nope. Watches that one up top and it's loaded or loaded. The count is full. <laughs> Three and two. <laughs> Oh. And that's outside, so Walker's on. For Saya. Saya Suzuki at the plate, two for four now. Oh, man. Wow, I tried to lift that one there and get us closer, but Suzuki misses it. Four for 12 in the series and two for four today. He has still remained hot. Oh. Contact there, and that's fouled, so it's 0-2 for Helsley. Down to our last strike of the game, potentially. Suzuki watches it. Ball one. Helsley's got to be sweating right now. I don't know why I am. Oh! Oh, not even close. What so was that? Whiffs it on a pitch. Well outside the zone and up. Not even close. No. And that'll do it. Some late game drama, but we could not pull it together against the cards. Man. Time of the ball game. Four hours and nine minutes. Young that was two Young's home runs. Second, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Cabriere does not do well leading off. I don't know why they keep putting him up there. I don't know. So do I today. Two for three. And two walks. Yeah, two RBIs. Grayson had an okay day. Giving up four yeah, that's over okay. six. Four strikeouts. Clevenger gave up one. Tough day for Clevenger, yeah. And Damn. Edwards done great. Abner had another outing where he didn't fuck up. Two walks, yeah. though. It's all right. Took him out before he got hurt. And then Owsley came in. And then Strom come in. Give up three. Strom had a rough yeah. one. No outs. No. That must have been uh, a home run or like two hits and a home run or something. I don't know. And then, Damn. Um, and then Almonte. Crushed. With a salami. Yep. Damn. <clears throat> the middle of our relief was okay. The, the start and the end was ass. Yeah. Except for Yenesis was all right. Man, damn. damn, damn, damn. So the series with St. Louis will conclude as a split. Neither team with a clear advantage over the other. Each game was back and forth and competitive. Uh, so I'm at least happy to take that leading off or leading out of this series. You know, we, we typically don't do well against the basement. St. Louis is the basement of the division right now. And we went and traded, you know, wins and losses with them. So it's not great, but it could be worse. The Pirates are now the basement by half a game. Well, yeah, on the back of that Cardinals win. Yeah. So we're now Damn. two games back of the Brewers. So we get an off day, a two-game miniseries versus the worst team in baseball, and then another off day. So we reset until we hit the Reds and the Brewers. Kind of what we need here, but as we just talked about, that curse of the basement teams could rear its ugly head here. Yeah, plus we're going up against Mike Soroka as well. Yeah. So, I mean, his 4-4 four four record, 66 innings and 54 strikeouts is pretty good. And the 3-5-1 yeah. ERA is not bad. Better than Steele's 4-5-2, yeah. so... Yeah, yeah, Soroka's good. Yeah. He's legit. So, we'll uh, we'll hopefully uh, put a rain on his parade, and we're going to pick the the the, uh, the the battle of the the windy city here. Oh, we didn't. We lost. No, we sh sure didn't. We lost. Yeah. Who is they on? Had, they had three the White Sox. Aloy Jimenez. Wow, Luis Robert Jr. is really struggling. He's at two twelve. Wow. Kevin Bishio is on the White Sox. Hey, yeah. Bastard. 
Jan Gomes. And some oldies. Yeah. All right. All right. So they still beat us. Oh my god, look at all those overs, dude. Soto had a fucking day. That that's what has to happen for Soto to have a good day. We have Everyone to... else has to disappear. I mean He had two doubles and a home run. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Steel didn't even make it at the Killian pitched five innings. Wow. <laughs> My God. Dude, he's coming back. Three, five, four on the ERA now. That's five fucking heavy innings of pitching relief. Should should Steel go <laughs> Oh my God! We're gonna have we're gonna have to make a decision because I think leaving a starter in the bullpen is part of our problem. I I, I do believe that that causes some issue. I'm I'm guessing it's a problem, and I think the coding is like this guy shouldn't be playing this. It's like putting a a, a fucking first baseman at shortstop, right? You think? I I'm wondering if that's an actual thing. I don't know. Like. So I feel like we we've got to have number six in the bullpen as long relief because if one of the relievers gets or not relievers one of the starter gets hurt, then we don't have a starter to replace him. So we've got to have one that's up and ready to go. Like you have to. It's just like a bench player. You know, you can't have nobody on the bench. No, but then we we don't have a, a legit long reliever though either because we have um, uh, Clavenger's going to get like twenty eight stamina. Well, that's why we need Killian there. That's right, but I mean, that's the thing. We don't have a legit reliever with long, long stamina, right? That's a, that's the that's our <laughs> our problem. Because there's a there's a threshold where they they turn into a starter if they have enough stamina. You know what I mean? Like- <laughs> right. But I mean, you could have you could you could have two long relief guys with say sixty stamina instead of have one guy with eighty and another guy with twenty. Right. Yeah. Like if we had like legit actual like people with like sexy stamina will be a legit long reliever. Yeah. So that's the thing. I'm wondering if taking Killian and putting him in the actual rotation to give him the, the innings would improve. Like, I don't know well, where like, we, it's, we it's, had Killian as a starter and he failed. No, he didn't. We never started one game. Oh, you're right. We just looked at that. That's yeah. right. Why do we, why do we have that thought though? I don't know. Cause he didn't even pitch for us last year. Wow. Well, then what the hell? I don't know. I, I swear that we did. I thought. I thought we did too. But he never started oh, the fucking man. game. He's got 71 innings pitch. He's working like a fucking starter. Yeah, he's doing really good. Well, look at our starters. 94 innings, and he's a reliever with, with 71. Yeah. He's got 10 less innings pitched than Grayson. Yeah. Wow. Empty you might Porter. be a and see, and Porter was a fucking. Cl- it was a, in the in the bullpen, in the minors, and he's got seventy five stamina. Yeah. So that would be like a legit long reliever, but he's classed as a starter. Like, see the yeah seventy five is enough to start easy. See, to me, pitchers that are that are you know, hovering around that sixty seventy stamina should have starting in the secondary position should be a reliever. They should pitchers should have a secondary position to pitch reliever, and I wonder if that would offset their stats a bit better. I don't know. I don't know either. I mean, he's on the up like he's not like other than his stamina dropping because he's not starting games. Yeah, but his like, other stats are climbing, and he's and he's finally getting into his potential. Yeah, but I mean, he's never going to be like a a lights out. I mean, he's developed by the Cubbies because I mean he's only ever played yeah. for the Cubs. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. That's I'm, a really interesting thought about the secondary position. I've never considered that, but at putting them in the bullpen as relief, either long, middle, or setup, closer, whatever it is, that you're you're right though, is that is not the primary position they're listed at. Yeah. So I'm I'm also now very curious if you're right, and that is kind of a hidden thing. I've never heard that talked about before, but that might be the fucking case. I mean, Steele's 29. See, Burnsy's 30. We don't plan on keeping Burnsy. I think when his contract goes, that's probably it. Yeah, we're not we're not going to re-up him after 26. I don't think so. Because he's already on the decline. Yeah. 
I mean, he's pitching great, but he already has five, five six negatives. Yeah. And he's dropping now because he's an 89, so he's he's on that dip back in his potential B range. So, like Grayson, I'm hoping he keeps on the climb. Uh, he will. He's 25, so he's going to move into our ace position. Yeah. Steel is 29, like, and we have two ARP, but we're going to be paying him $5 million at minimum yeah. next two years, if not more. Right? Because he's yeah. gonna get he's gonna get at least the same in his arb. He's not gonna go down unless he's a really shit year, which he's kind of having. We yeah. might be able we might be able to lowball him a little bit. Trade his his deal was we signed him to trade him. Because remember we had a, we had a, we signed him to trade him, but we couldn't. Yeah. So we end up having to trade uh, Al or um, Ashby. Yeah. We made the Ashby trade because we didn't, we couldn't trade free because that's the only reason we picked him up. But now, he's he's one of our better he's, pitchers. He's been fantastic for us, yeah. But there's no <laughs> way at 31 we're keeping him till 29. Not till 29. So no. we're gonna have to figure out where where um, our pitchers start dropping off. Same as Strom, he was another pickup that was only temporary, right? I think so, but I'm not positive. You see, we we're not paying him a massive amount of money, but at thirty three, yeah. are we going to really going to keep him for three more seasons? No, probably not. Let's see, Abner's twenty four. Yeah, he should be the guy. Yeah, with his stats, he's <laughs> he's the guy that we had picked as like we're not going to have a problem with closing because of Abner, like forever. <laughs> and he's not even classed as a closer. I wonder right. if that's also a problem. Like there's no there's nobody listed as an actual setup, right? But there is actual closers. And then yeah. Strom's not even listed as a closer. Yeah. Al's lays thirty on the decline and we're paying him three three and a half million. Yeah. So like maybe not trade at the deadline. So it's gonna depend where we're sitting at the deadline. If we're fucking still ass, we're gonna be dumping. I don't yeah, think we, we have a choice. Be. We're gonna have to go for some for some like top. Well, prospects. yeah, because some of the some of the top end guys that we have, we're on a timer with them, so we can't just wait for the development. We might need to trade and try to upgrade in order to make a legit yeah. run while we have some of these guys like Soto and Burns. Yeah, so Soto, Burns, and like Rodriguez and Strom, Strom, like another season of Strom, it might be all right. But like, is is Alzley really is re, is do we really need three guys? You know, kind of slated in the closing area, Probably but not. yeah. But I mean, if Abner struggles, then what do we do? Like, and I mean, we got to, and I mean, too, it all depends on what we can get for these guys. But yeah. we got to, we got to look at getting younger. Like Carl Edwards, he's thirty three. Yeah, and last year was contract, so deadline he should be traded. We're very lucky that he's doing so well for us. Yeah, twenty innings pitch, and we give up one home run. Yeah. He must have a good home run stat. Yeah. Yeah. And it's gotten better. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, he's only given up 32 home runs in his entire career, eight years in the majors. Yeah. Did he have anything? In, mm, he's never had a double-digit year in home runs. Wow. Yeah. Eight was his highest. So, yeah. So, I mean, like, we're, we're looking at, we're, you know, same as, same as Clavenger. He's on the decline now at 30 years old. And he's, yeah, we got Arb on him, but he's 30. Are we really going to keep this guy around? Uh, it depends on performance. I mean, I am I was okay with it because we've been so hot on him from last year. But he's you know, but to, then now he's, he's struggling. Sorry, he's going to get three innings pitch, and he's not pitched well in either of them. Yeah. He's given up a run in every inning. Yeah. So. And that's, that's since we've called him back and given him a shot. Yeah. But I mean, he's thirty and on the decline, so he's getting back down to his limit. Like yeah. Killian's twenty-seven, and I mean, he's getting to his, you know, he's going to hit a ceiling soon. He's not going to be a seventy-nine, I bet. Probably not. And he's not going to get ten points in three seasons. Yenis is being twenty-eight and a B seventy-four on the up. He still has a couple of seasons to get close to a B, but he's not going to get eighty. But I mean. We got RB around him anyway, so I'm not scared of leaving him. Yeah. Almonte at 30, declining. 
he's going to be below his overall. His overall is going to be below his potential. The next, yeah. the next point drop, he's he's done. Five innings pitched, he's given up seven earned runs. Two of those were home runs, so he's got to go. What are we doing with this kid? Like, <laughs> I don't know. That's why we're scouting so heavy starters and relievers on this draft class right now, because we 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 need it. All right, so we're gonna put Max Freed up against Nick Martinez. Martinez is not having a great year. Two and seven record and a five ERA. Yeah. So Freed's having a great year. Six and three record with a two nine four ERA. So let's not get swept by the fucking White <laughs> Sox. Please. Oh no. Max stiffness for a few days. Okay, oh, okay. Woo! Oh, I seen Max Freed's. When name. did he get taken out though? That could have been a disaster uh, in the game. Oh no! Oh, swept by the no. socks. Fucking hell, we're under five hundred again. Damn it! Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> Soto went. Oh, he had hit. I thought he went over. He had hit. Okay. Okay. All right. Suzuki tried. That's going to be the title of this whole season. <laughs> Suzuki tried. Yeah, three for four in three sixty six. Oh, man. He's doing everything he can. Canario did really well off the bench. Caballero gets one for three. Not much happening, though. No walks by anybody. How many strikeouts? So we made a plenty of contact. Just everything was Adam balls, apparently. Yeah, I guess. Defense Damn. won the day. Wow, we turned into three double plays. Jeez. Soto, Magical, and Sean O'Well are all... Yeah. Eating the fucking the Freed got wing. taken out very early. Those guys are getting so, the, the shitty chicken wings at the meal tonight. In, in those situations, this is where the problem lies because Freed gets taken out before the end of the second, unexpectedly, right? So injury. So Clevenger has to come in absolutely cold, and he tries, but he does give up two earned runs off of three hits. So he wasn't warmed up. Gave those up in the third. It goes into the fourth inning. I guess. No, he doesn't. He finished the third. Finished the third, and then we've warmed up Killian by that time, who takes the reins, goes three full innings, two hits, two strikeouts. Cabrera comes in later, and then Edwards Jr. actually closes it out with two innings. So, like, once we were like, okay, we need to get the boys ready, they did perfect. But the unexpected sub in for Clevenger while he was cold is what did it. And I, I figured that was going to be it. I even said, like, it depends on where Freed came out. It could be really bad. Yeah. Because if it's unexpected, yeah, then that's what happens. Damn. Yeah, and Clevenger's not had a great run up with us. He's got a 10-30 ADRA now. Yeah. He's given up more runs than innings pitched. Yep. Man. Gosh. I, I had high hopes because he pitched so well last year. Yeah. Um, and he was just doing so good in Triple A. Yep, I guess. Like, okay, it's time to get him back up. He's gonna get packaged the fuck out because, man. Yeah, he might. Uh, and he's too. He's he's a bit older too, so we don't think we're planning on keeping him for uh, for many more seasons after this. And they're yeah. definitely not planning if uh, all the Brewers are now the top. Oh, oh, yep, that's it. And now we're facing the Reds, who just recently came out of the first position. And after them, we'll be facing the guys who took first position. It is going to be a hell of a back half of June. We need we need to be on our fucking game. We can't lollygag around like we did with Chicago. Not and right all. now, there's no better place to start than with Porter Hodge in game one. Time to tighten the belts and tie your <laughs> shoelaces, boys, because this is going to be a fucking smashing two series is coming up here. Yep. Let's, let's start off with a big win. And we fucking lost. <laughs> oh, no. Now, Porter gets the loss, but his ERA didn't go up by very much, so I imagine it's only one or two runs allowed from him. Uh, they scored twice in the first, so that's probably it. So Suzuki and Soto both fucking go offers with walks. Yep. Walker went two for four, and then we had offer one for three, Jeez. and then offers. Man. Jordan Walker so, was a home run. He was our lone... Lone scorer. Yeah. Oh, and Soto had an error, too. 
You're just making <laughs> you're making more of a case, man. Every yeah. time you play, you're making more of a fucking case to be traded. <laughs> oh, Clevenger again. Yeah. God. God. Yeah, he's he, got, he's, he's he's one of those guys that probably just does better as a perennial minor leaguer, man. But he pitched well for us last season. Like yeah, but that could have been the flu. He had an under fucking three ERA. Yeah, like he's going back down the minors. I don't know if he's got another option. I'm right, we'll fucking wave the bitch. I don't care. I'm not <laughs> even in my bullpen anymore. We can't. <laughs> we can't let that keep going into the mound, dude. Like, yeah, just getting crushed every time. Yep. I mean, and Porter Cabrera Hodge, has a rare, rare bad outing. Yeah, like Porter Porter Hodge, a great game. Yeah, he absolutely did. And they're just giving up his all those hits again, but usually it doesn't, you know. He, get, he gets out of it, dude, every time. He had 10 base runners and only allowed two in. Yep. So even on the loss, Hodge's stock still goes up. A great performance. So as we begin to enter the midway point of the season, it's become clear where our weaknesses currently lie, and that is in the bullpen. Our starters, by and large, have been performing pretty well. We've got a triple-A starting rotation that we could write songs about. Very happy with how those guys are developing. But relief pitching right now is getting a lot of focus from us. And somebody like Garrett Clevenger, who was so hot for us last year, we were so excited in going into this 2025 season, really, really had a disastrous beginning of the year, so much so that we sent him down to triple-A for more time against easier competition. He did very well. We call him back up to the show, and guess what? He sucks again. I don't know what's happening with Clevenger, but he's not the guy. As he ages out as well, he's 30 years old with a C potential, 71 overall. This is arguably the ceiling and possibly end of the deal for Garrett Clevenger. And because of that, we've had him on the trade block. Panther and I decided to go out and actually look for a trade. And from the athletics, we have found Kyle Muller. A relief pitcher who's 27 years old with B potential, 66 overall, only making 780. But he's got some phenomenal stats right now. Last year, he did amazing as well. Kyle Muller has found his legs in the bullpen for the athletics, and we're thinking that this trade is going to really help us out now. Welcome to the Cubbies, Mr. Miller. <laughs> or no. Muller. Muller. Sorry. <laughs> Mr. Muller. Hey, I'll learn yeah. your name eventually. You just got traded. We're two games under 500. I said no more. <laughs> Did you fucking voice not listen? All right, Ooh, Corbin. Jordan Montgomery. Look, you're going up against Jordan, who's having a mediocre year at 406 ERA. Corbin, you better keep your ways going, boy. Get this done. No. Nope. No. 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 We take the loss five to six. So did two hits. Yeah. Or Rocker had no hits. One cell pinch ran. She had no at bats. Mm -hmm. Shot well. <laughs> And no for day. Four with the home run, though. Yeah. Corn Burns, four earned. He's been doing that four earned a little too much. Yeah. You remember when Otani, when we had him with the Nationals? It's always like and six hits and three earned over six. Yeah, <laughs> three earned every time, no matter what. Yeah. I'll take the Burns three earned over four, there. but come on. Well, yeah. Kay and Killian couldn't get the fuck Dude. out of the couldn't get out of the seventh. Nope. Oh man. All right. Okay. Scout day. Scout day. So interested to see these pitchers. Wow, he found eight second basemen. International, yeah. First time we've looked there, so All right, let's go have a look. All right. So week eleven of scouting is going to be a dead center repeat in the central region for starting pitchers and international for second basemen. Getting deep into the scouting territory, we are suddenly struggling to determine who is going to be our first round pick. 
Will it be Dominic Martinez, who has held that position for a long time now? Or newcomers, Jason Tatum, John Famigletti, or Esteban Tejeda? We've now got a wealth of options at first pick, and we're musing potential future strategies on acquiring these guys no matter what. So we'll see what happens, but more information is required, so we will be repeating these scouting assignments. All right, let's lock this one in. Man, who thought that far into scouting we'd be finding three more players we want to pick <laughs> number one? I have no idea. That's crazy. We're three games under 500. Yep. <laughs> Skin. Five, five in a row. Five. After going nine and one, we are now <laughs> 0 and 5. Yikes. Oh, man. We are. <laughs> well, the Pirates are doing worse, at least. And the Cardinals are yeah. doing a whole lot better, but they're, they're right on our heels. Yeah, they are. But yeah, we are we are falling, um, and the Reds and the Brewers are starting to drive away. Oh, you know what today is? What's today? June fifteenth. <laughs> <laughs> the day that we've been waiting for. <laughs> oh, so no. It's been a slice. <laughs> <laughs> a slice of shit pie. But, who would uh, we want for a Soto? Could you imagine though? Like Vladdy, who would we trade? Vladdy. Oh Vladdy. My God. <laughs> hey, I like Vladdy. <laughs> it's not because I'm a Jays fan, you know. I was, yeah. There's no bias there. Hey, we <laughs> went after Quan for you. We. <laughs> I know. I, I know. <laughs> But I was on Kwan. board. I was on we board. We got uh, Grayson Rodriguez, notably this year. You know, yeah. like we've gotten some of my Orioles as well. I know. I know. Yeah, it's funny. Burns and Rodriguez are both former Orioles. Now. I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh man, Hunter Green. Yes. Oh no. <laughs> oh man he's here to put the stamp on it for the reds oh no now we made game two competitive man five to six you know that's that's definitely a competitive game uh but grayson 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 what are you gonna do in game three is this his three wins in a row <laughs> yeah. i don't think so because i think he lost right no, go up didn't. one Crazy. st louis was that a loss he didn't lose the game Oh, Strom got the loss. He's won he's, his last two innings. He's won two or three. Okay. So, but he has not added another loss. Yeah. Okay. And I mean, eighty-one innings and seventy-nine strikeouts. That's, yeah, that's promising. Four, five, two ERA, not so promising. No, he's just got to stop giving up so much contact. Hunter Green scares me. Yes, he does. <laughs> All right, let's let's just let's just rip the bandaid off. Oh my God, we won! Ooh, hey, <laughs> and there we go. There it is. Uh, Who could they possibly be asking for? And it's the Reds too. I know they saw something they liked. Huh? Oh, it's Alzale. Oh, Sam? Or, no, Sam Mall. No, no, no. Are you fucking high? What a joke. Ah. Uh, they're trying to feed us a shit sandwich, and I wouldn't eat that with someone else's mouth. Get the fuck <laughs> out of town. Grayson gets his third win, man. Uh, Dota went two for six. It's a lot of offense. Suzuki wow. only went one for six. Well, the boys woke one up. They didn't want to get swept. Young had a whole for day. Canario two for four, magical two for five, four three for five, Caballero three for five. Yeah. All right. No homer day. Some four to two doubles. Get some. Yeah. Grace, and there you go. That's awesome to see. Oh, look, Muller's. Yeah, Kyle pitched. Muller with his debut in a Cubs uniform gets two outs. 
and that's it. Yeah, <laughs> but that's all right. Yeah. Yeah, does this Cabrera back to form for hold number 14? Gets a clean inning out of and it. Now Slay picks up a save. Good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Be back. <laughs> well, we're somewhere. Well. <laughs> we didn't hey. get swept. And we didn't lose. We didn't We didn't use six losses in a row. No. Oh, Milwaukee. The Brew Crew. Yeah. This looks to be a really comparable matchup, actually. Yeah, it really does. Like, really comparable. <laughs> other, other than the, the amount of innings that Steele has pitched more, there's really not a big glaring difference either way. Yeah, Steele's got a slight advantage on the strikeout per nine as well. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. But still. But they're both having a tougher year right now. Yeah. All right, let's... Uh, Let's get back on the on the horse here. Let's see if we can do another big streak of wins in a row. Yeah. Holy shit. Whoa. Two outs, bases juiced. E. <laughs> I don't know what I want to do. Let's sim it. Let's sim it. Oh. Osley did it! Oh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Soto 0 for 3 with Fucking a walk. Christ, again. Sean <laughs> Wells doing a little bit better. 257 yeah. now. Yeah. 2 for 4 in the day. Not a lot of hits. A lot of well, strikeouts. <laughs> Home runs yeah. from Suzuki and Sean Well. Yeah. Errors oh, wow. from Sean Owell and Vasquez. Two caught stealings. Oh, wow. wow Steel. Steel. Hell yeah. Solid as a rock. Ooh, Abner got into some trouble, but Alzale bailed him. Three walks. Three walks. That's why the basis was loaded for Alzale. That was the situation. Damn. No shit. He gets out of it, and then Ooh. Strom comes in and cleans up for the save. Although he did allow two hits as well. That's all right. Yeah, got out of it. Whew. Woo! We tried to give that one away. <laughs> yeah. Errors and in the errors and in walks. Jesus. I know. We almost snatched defeat from the jaws of victory. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, where does that put us? Okay. We're still we're still above the cards. The cards haven't uh -huh. caught us again, but we're still under five hundred. If we sweep the Brewers, we're still not going to be ahead of them. Nope. Because we're two and a half games back from them, and there's only two games here. Yep. But we could be really close. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's tell you what Max Free does after his recovery from his back stiffness going against DL Hall, who's not having a stupendous year either. No, not at all. So strikeouts are better than his innings pitch. So it's nice for him, but not nice for us. Yeah. So let's uh let's just get in here and smack them around. Dislocated, Dislocated ankle. ankle. Who is Price Windham? In double A, do I have him even on the farm tab? Price Windham. No, I don't even have him on the tab. He's a nobody. <laughs> and was for six more months he will be that nobody. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Hey. Look at that. Max gets victory number seven on the year. Okay. And there's the offense. Caballero lead it off. We got two hits this time. There you go. All right. Sean Well, two more hits. And two walks. Soda with a walk. Or sorry, one hit. RBI, yeah, was it Homer? No. Um, Josh, one for four. Walker, two for four. It's nice to see him back. So they'll get an over day. He's still hitting 346. And they moved him down to six, though. I don't Why understand. Why the hell that. is he? Like, this batting one makes no fucking sense. No. Magic was still doing all right. Three for four. Canary one. McCann had a tough day. That's unusual yeah. for him. Huh. Must get on so Soto, Soto's RBI was a sacrifice fly. 
And I'd say McCann must get on by fielder's choice because he has no hits, but he scored a run. Oh, Freed, six, six and a third. Give up two earned. Right. Very nice. Carl Edwardson, okay. Abner done all right. And then Strom done great. Okay, so the bullpen seems to be getting their shit together, right? Yeah, things seem to be square. We got rid of that. We got rid of the, the shitty relievers. The curse of Clevenger. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe that was it. <laughs> so that's right. three in a row. Oh, and it's, and it's, it's time for Porter Hodge. Time for Porter, baby. Against Michael Lorenzen. Yeah, that's a familiar name. Hmm. Um, <laughs> Porter's going to go four and two after this. You watch. I'd love to see it, man. Well, we're going to. I got really scared there for a moment. For some reason, I thought that somebody took one of our players. Oh, dude. I don't know why. Like, they wouldn't have, like, without any other screen. But I saw Tigers acquire, and I was like, oh, my God, who'd they take? What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> God. Oh. Okay, so the Tigers give up, too, to get Camilo Doval. Closing pitcher with a 6-4 ERA. And when they give up a center fielder and a reliever. Both of them highly rated as well. What are they going after Duvall for? He's playing like shit. No idea. That's on there. Okay. I guess. We lost. Oh. And the Smokies don't have a valid lineups. We'll fix that later. Poor oh, Duvall. Podge gets... Or Podge. Oh, my God. Podge. Hodge gets his third loss, but it looks like he still pitched okay. The ERA only moved a little bit upwards for him. So another 0 for day. 0 for 4, Soto. And Pierre leading off and 0 for again. Why has our manager not been fired yet? <laughs> we have five fucking hits. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, McCann get hit by a pitch. Hope he wasn't in the face. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't make a difference. He'd fucking stay in anyway. He's a psychopath. Oh, my God. That yeah, was kinda... so insane, dude. It really was. Oh, I couldn't believe what I was watching. Yep. Man. Caballero Porter. stole another base. Porter got roughed up a little bit. Well, I'm, I'm not even that. I mean, it wasn't a great game. But I think four earned over five is is more negative than positive, but it's not bad. No, it's not what we've seen from others, but look at Killian. Killian's really knuckled down, dude. Yeah, he's starting to improve. Give up an yeah. earned run, but still. That's over three. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. The, the cards are they're coming on. Uh, <sighs> only one and a half games ahead of them. You know, I'm curious. Uh, can you go back to the calendar? Or not the calendar, the main screen. Yeah, and go to a AAA now on the stick. Oh, just here? Yep. I wanted to see what their record was down in AAA with that pitching, you know, rotation. Yeah. 40 and 31. Yep. They're doing pretty damn good. Doing better than us. <laughs> yeah. That not hard. What do you suck? <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. Okay, yeah, so I've done that advance. Oh, the Cardinals lost. This has been a weird divisional month. Damn. The Pirates. Two and eight. Nobody's offered for Soto yet. I'm surprised. Everyone's, I am every, surprised. No one's got no one's got the, the players. And no one wants to give up one of their top because I don't know if the computer looks at the actual numbers. That's so loud the thunder. Can you hear that? Yes. We had a fight in a thunder lightning storm here last night at fucking rain like a fucking pyros, dude. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. I was like, the fucking window got a hold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no offers for Soto. Surprise. But see, no one's to, like the pieces, right? To get Soto would be huge. Yeah, I don't know what it would take for a Soto deal at this point, but so Corbin Burns after the break will take game one versus Dean Kramer who has had a rough year as well as we've seen so many of these pitchers have. Um, it doesn't look like he's a big strikeout guy in this series. So we might have the advantage here in game one versus Baltimore. They are playing over 500, but floating right near the same record. So could be a competitive series and we'll host them at home and we'll see what happens. All right, let's get this going. 
So we are in Chicago hosting Baltimore, down by two, but with two men on. Bottom of the ninth, Seiya Suzuki, one out. And Felix Batista is back for the Orioles. Oh, and no. Suzuki will drive that one deep to right field. Could be enough to advance that runner to third. No. It's not. So we're down to the final out. Oh, God. It's Juan Soto. He's got his two hits for the month, so he's probably covered now. <laughs> 238. He's got 11 home runs. Yeah, that's not even the highest on the team, though. Not even close. No. He can't be relied on right now for anything. No. But he will drag that one. A bloop to left field that will be an RBI two-out single. Wow. So he can be relied on for that. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, no. Meeting a child with a belt there in first base. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jordan. You're over. Four, but you need to do better today. Well, that would mean that he's due based on the law of averages now. Come on. Get some. Yep. Tying run at second base. Oh. He went around on that one. Oh, he's hitting 323 with runners and scoring. Come on. Yeah. And, oh, he did manage to grab it at third, and Walker oh. is out for the Orioles to close and win. Damn. Yeah. If that had a little more velo, and it would have got past third base, that would have scored the tying run. Oh, I know. It was so close. Man. Wow, Soto in 3-5. Two RBIs. Yeah. Young back up there doing the stuff. He went 2-4. Yep. Madrigal's still doing his thing. Three, two, three. three. Like, Madrigal is almost going to be wasted going back to the bench. Yeah, at this point, almost. He's been playing well since Warner's been out. Yep. Look at the home runs we hit today. Three of them. Jeez. And we still could win the game. <laughs> Young is 16, Suzuki with 18. That's awesome. Damn. All right. Ernsey, what's with the six earned? Yeah, that's a tough game. Yeah. Killian comes in for more long relief and does really well. Something's changed there, finally. Yeah. And Yenesis does his thing. Luckily, because he gave up a hit in two walks. <laughs> All right. Damn. I was hoping for some ex excitement. <laughs> we didn't get much. Why don't they have a picture for Corbin Burns? I don't know. You miss photo day? I don't know. All right. Grayson's pitching against his former team. Yeah, versus John Means, who's having a better year. But look at the strikeout to innings difference oh there. Oh, my word. That's crazy. That's a really big gap. Yeah. Well, you know what that means. Yeah. He's going to have a... Career year, career number strikeouts right here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna be positive. That means we're gonna we're gonna fucking beat the tits off him in the first inning. Yeah, Grayson's gonna get a little bit of rivalry uh, revenge here and pull one out versus the Orioles. That's what's gonna happen. Exactly. And you'll see it right here. Yep. And five was. to two. And Grayson, Grayson got gets the, the win. win. <laughs> Hell yeah. Suki two for four, Soto one for four, Walker over. Walker might be cold now. Yeah, he was. He was too, flying high for so long. Yeah, Young Canario, Magical with hits, and then Caballero. Four is a random over over day. Yeah, he usually gets a piece of something. How did Sean Noel score two runs but no hits or walks? Well, that could have been Fielder's choice Two each time. Fielder choices, I guess. Weird. Yeah. Soda with another error. Soda. <laughs> You're on the trade block. You should be playing better. That's why no one wow. wants you. We don't even want you. <laughs> How does that make you feel? <laughs> Hopefully sad, like your gameplay makes us feel. 